Yeah, dude, I'm curious to hear about the, how you started the whole trail series and everything. Well, I just started, so I got back into riding like, it was like two and a half. Hey, how you doing, man? Pretty good, man. How yourself? Good. Good deal. Ready Let's for today? You. Yep, can't wait. It's like two and a half, three years ago. I bought my, well, first of all, I bought my house on land. Yeah. In hopes of building jumps one day. My kids had zero interest in it. And like three years ago, my youngest was like, Ooh, do you want to go to that BMX track? I'm like, sure, I'll go to the BMX track. I mean, I still had, a, I had an S and Hucker at the time. But I just would ride around the campgrounds and shit when I took them mm -hmm. family trips. And then he fell in love with it. So then I got like a Steel Panther. Then my oldest started riding. And then I started building jumps. Jumps got good enough to hold her jam. The jam was fucking awesome. I had met Alan out riding and he came down and I went to Norwalk for a jam and it was awesome. They're back to back weekends. And I'm like, dude, we just need to do a series. I'm like, let's do a series. At the very least, it's you and me, but I'm sure we can get other places like maybe Apple Creek. I hadn't met John at that point. I'm like, but if I can get a hold of John, maybe an Alan knows John, I'm like, maybe we can get him in. Yeah. And then it'll just trickle from there. Yeah, you're gonna be cool. We get like four or five of them. So then we got four or five of them, and then people just started, hey, 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 and it blew up. I've had last week two different trail spots want to jump in, which is a total of like five different spots that want to jump in out of state that over the course of the last six months. So uh, it's gonna be Midwest next time. At least a Midwest trail series next year. Next time. So you're already thinking forward? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I might not be able to make it to every single one, but mm. our team is getting bigger. More people are getting involved, so I'll have a lot more support. This is going to get even better next year. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you could definitely see how as soon as that popped up, people started getting stoked. And the fact that you got, like, the planning stages before winter last year, there were so many people who were dig in through the wind like john only dug down here this winter because of i that. know I mean, chris myers down in coasters i mean posting videos with it actually snowing on him and he's digging it's so awesome and it's only because of the trail it's series so awesome that's like my favorite part of it is people will send me messages with pictures of them digging or videos of them digging like look we started a spot it's like this is what it's all about like we just want it people get stoked on it again and more places to ride and network because there's spots out there that we just don't know about and people would like people to ride with they just don't know how to reach out so it's just bringing everybody together and it's awesome yeah where's your spot at again sunbury ohio yeah what do you have i haven't been there i have two two main lines uh well i have my main line which is starts with three tabletops and then progresses to like mid-sized doubles for people to build up to jumping bigger gaps and then i have my big line which kind of, they all start from the same drop in. You hit the first tabletop and go straight, roller, then four big doubles. Mm -hmm. And then there's some transfer lines in between and have a big wall ride. Yeah. Which stop is this? Third? This is the third stop. So we have five more to go. Jeez. The next one's Overlook, then Coasters, or sorry, Overlook, 1855, Shredwood at my house, Coasters and the Norwalk, the Sandlot. Yeah. How have they been so far? They've been good? They've been awesome so far. Yeah. And now the jumps are gonna get bigger, like a, a huge step bigger here. Uh, Coasters has some really big ones too. Uh, I think that 1855, my house and Sandlot, although they have some big jumps, it's more appealing for the average rider. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked on it. That's awesome. What's the, what's the group in the Instagram and all that again? It's uh, Ohio Trail Series. Uh, just Ohio Trail, Ohio BMX Trail Series on both. Yeah. Uh, Facebook and on Instagram. Nice. Sweet. So there's five more. Five What's more. the next date? The next date is August 10th, and that would be at Overlook and Dayton. Sweet. Yeah. I'm stoked on all this because it's getting people pumped to ride again, and it's a demographic of people like. What made me the most pumped is how it went from like you guys all riding at Rays together and just being like stoked. And every time you guys had a session, there was 15 people. And then you made the series thing and it got all those people and everybody who's stoked on trails that they know. And it just kept going out and out and out and bigger and bigger and bigger. And 
it just seems like there's more people getting excited about it and it's I mean it's sweet it's really a, a creation of itself I mean, yeah I had this little idea but it would have never progressed from that if it wasn't for everyone and yeah you're right it just started with three of us riding together raised and the group grew and then it's oh a friend from the 90s you know they start riding again and we all just started getting stoked together and this just took on a life of its own yeah well, it's like an underserved group of people in BMX you know, everybody focuses on the street jams. Like even today, there's street jams going on literally across the entire world and the and skate park street. events. But there's not a lot. Like Caddy does a trails jam and there's a lot of random ones, but, but nothing that quite unites everyone in organizes. an area, which is what I think is actually needed to really like get everybody excited. I agree. Um, I agree with everything you just said. I think that it appeals to obviously the average rider who might be too afraid to go somewhere like Apple Creek. Yeah. I was a little nervous coming here when I got back into riding because I didn't know who was digging here. Yeah. So I didn't want to show up and ride. Yeah. But this might bring people together, give the average person an opportunity to come check out some trail spots, see what it's about. Is this for me? Is it not? It's going to be for them. Yeah. Once they experience it because it's nothing but fun. But it just kind of breaks the ice for them and yeah then maybe they'll be inspired to start their own spot yeah maybe they'll be inspired to start help digging meet some new people meet some new people. have new friends to hang out just with and ride the with sport in general like yeah that's just a good opportunity that's that. super super sick i'm curious to hear too like it's had to have affected your life oh oh it's affected my life <laughs> It's uh, become a second job, but I'm happy to do it. Yeah. I'm not complaining. It's awesome. Every minute of it's been awesome. But uh, I'm looking forward to having more people help next year. So yeah. it's better. Yeah. You know, one guy can do so much. Woo. But uh, it's just better when you have help. You know, mm -hmm. everything can, every little detail can be great rather than everything be good. Yeah. Well, everything starts somewhere. Yeah, it started and we had no idea that it was going to pick up this much steam yeah i'm 42 i'm not a social media expert yeah <laughs> and i was there's nothing that caused more anxiety for me than have to try to promote and like make you know uh relevant posts and stuff like that but my lame attempts have gotten me this far i'm pretty stoked on dude that. it's not lame you've done awesome it just felt lame <laughs> but well i but mean from I, I agree like i mean the feedback has been over like over the moon positive and uh, yeah. I'm super stoked on it. I mean, that's kind of what I do. And from my perspective, I'm like, dude, these guys are doing amazing. Just <laughs> post, I mean, yeah, it might feel like a lame attempt to you, but just posting as much as you have been and then sharing it everywhere is what's done it and made everyone be able to see it. Because you could have done this and not posted it at all and then nobody would have even known about it yeah it's cool it takes what it really takes is like i think about stuff like this all the time but i don't have the bandwidth to even remotely begin it so it takes someone like you having trails in your backyard and being like kind of want to do something and then just doing it to make it happen yeah i mean if i'm being perfectly honest if i had known it was going to blow up like it did i probably would have taken a step back and reconsidered because of already being a dad and yeah. a husband and having a job and all that stuff uh, and being afraid to take on this big of a project on the side yeah. and how much is going to eat into family life. Yeah. But I uh, never would have thought that it would have taken off like this. And now that we're in the thick of it, I'm in love with it. So yeah. it's, it's just been a really awesome thing for my entire family. How do you take it to the next level? Obviously you said Midwest. I'm going to start Midwest. I want to keep going there. Get, I want to go until it stops growing. Yeah. I'm, we're not going to stop. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Because if you keep going with it and it keeps growing and growing, that just means people are getting more and more stoked on trails and riding together. Yep. And get some fresh blood in to maybe bring some new perspective to things and yeah. maybe take over some. And uh, just hopefully just one day it's just everyone doing it. Yeah. You know, there doesn't need to be one organization keeping things going. We just want to create a network of people yeah do you have any interest in like if uh like red bull or somebody wanted to sponsor and help make it even Next bigger level. do you absolutely yeah 
if we had support like that, we could do some really awesome things. We have a lot of ideas and uh, with what meager uh, support and means we've had, we appreciate all of it, but it's been very small. We've done a lot. Yeah. So imagine if we had significant support, how big it could be. I mean, just even in the aspects of being able to branch off some of that to help each of the spots that you have an event at. Well, that's exactly what we would like to do. And that's what of our, a lot of our fundraising efforts are for with like selling the shirts and uh, using some of the sponsors help to create more money. So next year we're, we're hoping to be able to, you know, give money to different spots to, uh, you know, improve it for the jam, make it easier for them. Because awesome. We all know this isn't easy to take time out of your life. Hell yeah. To build trails for other people to enjoy. Hell yeah. So it'd be pretty cool to have, uh, make life a little easier for them. That is too cool, man. Well, you just got interviewed and you didn't even know it. I, <laughs> <laughs> I picked up on it about three and a half minutes ago. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, that was perfect though. Seriously. Awesome.